Hello and welcome to this Gamma tutorial. Today we will introduce our brand new Gamma Digital workflow. Therefore the Gamma Digital Transfer Blocks are required. The Digital Transfer Block set comprises three individual Digital Transfer Blocks of different heights, labeled A, B, and C. Using the Kinematic Facebos Congelograph and Congelograph Comfort, the upper jaw position can be transferred in relation to the exact kinematic hinge axis from the patient to the upper jaw transfer stand and subsequently to the articulator. The face bow with the bite fork still attached is removed from the patient's head and mounted in the upper jaw transfer stand. The bite fork is thus correctly positioned relative to the exact hinge axis, and you may proceed with the digital workflow. A digital transfer block of the appropriate height is selected and mounted in place of the upper jaw model. As the measurement area of typical intraoral scanners is relatively small, a large gap between the bite fork and the transfer block may result in the scanner failing to connect the two surfaces into one continuous scan. It is therefore recommended to fill this gap with soft and malleable bite registration material. First, open the transfer stand. Use an adequate, roughly palm-sized amount of putty material, add the activator and knead the material thoroughly to mix the components. Form it into an appropriate shape and place it within the dental arch of the bite fork. Make sure not to fill in any of the upper jaw impressions. Close the transfer stand. Support the putty material from below to ensure that it adheres to the underside of the transfer block. Make sure that no material enters the reference pattern of the block. Depending on the width of the gap being filled, you may use a pen or another pointy tool to add indentations in the putty material around the entire dental arch. This will provide additional surface structure during the scanning process and should result in better quality scans. The intraoral scanner is then used to scan the upper jaw impressions together with the reference pattern of the digital transfer block. This will subsequently allow the intraoral scans to be brought into the articulator coordinate system as well. Proceed with exporting the scan data from your scan software in an open file format such as PLY, OBJ, or SCL. By exporting the scan data, you should have obtained at least three files, which are the upper and lower jaw and interrelation, as well as the scan of the bite fork together with the transfer block. When importing these files in Cadius 3D, the software provides you with a step-by-step -step assistant for articulating the intraoral scans. Select the right type of digital transfer block. Then follow the step-by-step -step assistant of the software and align the bite fork scan to the transfer block. The next step is, to align the upper jaw to the bite fork scan. Therefore you have to select three point on the bite fork scan, and then the same three points on the upper jaw model. By aligning the individual scans together, they can be positioned correctly in the virtual articulator and used for virtual functional analysis. We hope that our tips were useful. If you have any questions, please write us an email or ask your local distributor. We hope you continue to enjoy working with Gamma products. 
Thank you for watching.